Alex in Manhattan. You're on WNYC. Hello, Alex. Uh, yes, hello. I just wanted to say um, that I was in ROTC, and I'm currently an Army captain in the reserves, and that I just wanted to get the uh, the guest Craig's view on the difference between ROTC and West Point, and I also wanted to ask him kind of an inside question. Uh, what class did you graduate Ranger School from? Because I graduated uh, 08, 02. So. Huh. Uh Alex, that's, I think we may have been in the same Ranger class, actually. I was really? class, I think I started in class 802 and finished in class 902 in September of 2000. Yeah, it's a, did you did you recycle? Uh, I did. I recycled the mountain phase. Yeah, I mean, up in Dahlonega? Yeah, same up in here. Dahlonega. I, I, I did that for uh, Best Ranger competition. How come you guys don't know each other? How many people are in this class? <laughs> oh, dear Lord. <laughs> With shaved heads, everyone starts to look alike. Oh, yes, we do. <laughs> so when you say recycle, what does that mean? Uh, if you, in ranger school, it's it's three phases, about three weeks each, and if you don't uh, if you don't pass all the tests, the, sometimes you have the opportunity to repeat the phase um, and do it over again. And so, uh, I, I didn't pass the mountain phase, the second phase, the first time I went through, and I had to do it all over again. And you told John Stewart last night that ranger school was harder than Afghanistan. Oh yeah, I'd I'd go back to Afghanistan. Before I go back to Ranger School, I, I don't know. Alex might agree with me about that. Those our eyes are no joke. Let's just put it that way. They're they're rough. And did you have a question about Iraq, also, Alex? I, I also had a question. Basically, I wanted to ask the difference between ROTC West Point and between Iraq and Afghanistan, either from his personal experience or from just what he's heard from people. Because I was I was mm-hmm. in Iraq, and I but it was you know back in 2003. So things I'm sure have changed. Yeah. Uh, well, so. I, I don't know what to say about the difference between ROTC and West Point. I'm I'm a prisoner of my own personal experience, and not having been in an ROTC program, I can't uh, attest to how it prepares its officers. I do think it, that we should have more ROTC programs across the country, and it's a shame that we've shuttered so many over the last uh, uh, 30 years. On the question of Iraq and Afghanistan and, and what the differences are, I think I think actually if you ask someone – who served in Iraq last year, they would have a very different experience than you had six years ago. And I think that's certainly the case for Afghanistan, that everyone fights their own war. And mine is very different than someone who's fighting today. And from one valley to the next, the the fight, the operating environment can be totally different. More broadly speaking, Afghanistan is a, is a much larger country. It's about 50 percent larger than Iraq. Uh, Afghanistan is about the size of Texas. And you have a similar sort of Texas-Mexico border about the length of the border with Pakistan. It's very rugged terrain. There aren't many roads. It's about three times as poor as Iraq. And so the challenges are significant as we move forward. Alex, thanks a lot for calling us. Good luck to you. My guest is Craig Mullaney, author of The Unforgiving Minute, A Soldier's Education. I heard something about you possibly getting an appointment having to do with Afghanistan from the Obama administration. Can you confirm or deny that? (laughs) I can't. I I would love to serve in the Obama administration, and my experience advising President Obama during his campaign and, and during the transition. You was worked on the cam- you worked on the campaign. I did, I did. I ten days after I left the army, I was in Chicago, and two days after that, I was flying on a plane with President Obama. So this idea of negotiating with the Taliban was that your idea? No. <laughs> um, I think. The term negotiating with the Taliban means different things to different people. Um, You know, when I tend – when I look at, you know, what are the opportunities to peel folks away from the Taliban, I don't think in terms of negotiating with Taliban leaders. I think about how do you get those foot soldiers who are – oftentimes are doing it because they could get paid more as Taliban foot soldiers than they could in their local village or by joining the national – Forces. Really? So when Vice President Biden said something like 70 percent of the fighters would lay down their arms if given the chance, and he's he's taken a lot of um, mocking for that, from your experience in country, do you think that's about accurate? Well, I would say I mean, farmers farmers in our area would get 25 bucks, um, anywhere between 25 and $200 for pointing a rocket in the direction of our base. They had no personal uh, – personal vendetta against me or my men, uh, oftentimes, I mean, if you are on the edge of survival, which many Afghans are, this is a country that's been brutalized over 30 years, and someone offers you 200 bucks to just look the other way, it's, I think it's hard for them to look, 
to not take that offer when it's their their families, you know, putting bread on the table. And so, you know, when I look forward, I think it's not about if given the chance. It's about if you can provide better opportunities for Afghans, then I think that helps shut down the recruiting base for the Taliban. What's our mission in Afghanistan? How would you define victory? I mean, that, that, that's, a question for, that's a question for President Obama that I think the part of this review they've been conducting is to answer. You know, as I look at it, I think at a minimal level, you hope that in Afghanistan and also, you know, on the other side of the border in Pakistan, that you have stable civilian governments that are not at significant risk of being toppled by insurgents. I also think as we look regionally, we don't want that part of the world to be a, uh, a place where – Transnational terrorist strikes are either planned uh, or people receive their training. Those are two really hard missions to accomplish. Is